YouTube, what's going on? It is Coach Jamel here, and I want to show you my lovely driver because it's way early in the morning. Anyway, I see my son's back there. Say hi, Malachi. He half sleep too, man. Um, I am getting ready to jump on this plane. I'm pulling up into the airport terminal and uh, I'm about to show you guys some amazing stuff, some new products. Um, I just got in touch with my Yonix rep. He's got some cool stuff for me that hasn't been released, that won't be released uh, this month. It'll be released later on in the year that I'll be able to check out. Um, and uh, <coughs> sorry, my voice is gone. The airplane car is floating. It's floating. <laughs> That's a cool floating airplane, son. So uh, I will check you guys in a little bit. Let me get in, let me rush in here and get on my plane. Um, and I'll catch you guys in a minute. All right, guys, I am back. I'm in town. Um, whew, it's been a long, 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 long trip. Um, so I had so, so, so much stuff going on. Um, it was really hard to record because I was in and out of meetings every minute, every day. My day started about 730. Um, and I was done with all of my meetings, my lunch, my dinner. Um, and I finished maybe around like 8.30, 8.45, and it was every 45 minutes to an hour, I'm in another meeting, in another meeting, in another meeting, in another meeting, meeting tons and tons of vendors. Shout out to Joe Fit. Um, you guys are really coming along. I'm really loving the products that you guys are putting out. A um, couple of cool brands for the ladies like Jamie Sadik. If you haven't already jumped on that train, a lot of ladies with a lot of cool style, it's definitely a brand to jump on. Um, sorry about that, my dog wants to play right now. Go. Um, and then you also, um, of course, your Under Armors, your Adidas, um, your Nike, you guys are pulling out a lot of things this year. Um, as far as footwear, sorry I couldn't record. Some of the stuff is not out. And we were not able to see all of the products. Some of it we only got pictures of. Um, and I promise all the vendors, especially with stuff that's not released and hasn't been released to the public, I would not do that. Um, one, it's not good to be sued with a, a smaller channel like this. Um, and two, it's just important for the vendors to be able to trust me so that I can release new content to you guys later on. Um, and build that relationship. But I just wanna let you guys know, um, this next little insert is directly from the Wilson vendor. I know you guys have been hearing all the talk about the new Wilson Ultra that's coming out. Um, I got a chance to hit with it. It is solid. Um, to be perfectly honest, there's very few true rackets out there. They're all kind of variations of one another. Um, from head to Babylon to Wilson. Um, I will say I like the crisp feel of this new Ultra, man. The color scheme is, I will say, it does not reflect what they've done in the, what is it, the version seven Wilson blade. Um, it's slightly different. Um, instead of it having a matte coating, it actually has a shinier finish. Um, but it's, it's really cool. It doesn't take away from the racket. It actually enhances that racket. Um, and I think that's gonna allow not only the paint to last a lot better for a lot of people who've had problems with paint chipping and things like that. Um, and so I'll drop this next insert in there. I'll show you guys a cool little, a couple of things and then I'll come back, we'll finish it off and we'll let you see what happened. So what is your name and what do you do? So I'm Steve Huber, and I'm the market manager for uh, Wilson Racket Sports. I'm on the East Coast. Been with the company about 25 years. Great. All right. And what do you have to show us? Well, we got a couple new products coming out this year we're really excited about. One in particular is the Trinity Tennis Ball. 
Uh, as you can see, it's not in your traditional plastic packaging. So our engineers have designed a ball, a pressurized ball, where we can package it here. It's a very long lasting ball. What's really special about it is the packaging is recyclable. Um, we've had great uh, response back on the ball as far as playability and durability, and this is coming out here in 2020. Perfect. So. All right. What else do you have for us? Well, we can talk about our new shoes, which are actually delivered next week. Okay. Um, this is the new Chaos shoe, which we're really excited about. It uh, is extremely lightweight um, with a tennis outsole here, a multi-court. You can wear this uh, on the outdoor court or on a clay court. Right. But um, as you can see, very sleek. It's like a running shoe with a tennis uh, shoe outsole. All right, so. great. And then I know everybody's asking about the Ultra. Sorry, guys, we can't show it. Yes. But what can you tell us about the Ultra that's not out yet? Yeah. So the Ultra is coming out March 2nd. We're super excited about that. It's been a really successful line of rackets for us. But we have made some improvements to it. We've actually added a little bit more power to it by making the beam a little bit thicker. Um, we had expanded uh, the strike zone um, at three nine o'clock, so it adds a little bit more power. And we've got a really hot new cosmetic I can't show you, but uh, we're excited to launch it here very very soon. And is it going to stay a true blue? It's a, we got the blue and got a little silver, but Ultra has always been about the blue, so we're going to keep the blue within the line. Hey, we like it. Thank you so much for yes. supporting us, and we look forward to seeing you soon. Right. Thank you. All right, guys. So you have seen the interview that I did with the Wilson Rep man extremely cool things coming out with Wilson man I'm so so excited about um, the movement of their brand um, and how they're really just going together and innovating completely new things every year they're trying to get something new they're trying to get a different feel um, they're playing with how thick the beam is how how thin the beam is where to add weight how to transition certain things and are constantly looking for the newest things to innovate into their rackets um, that speaks volumes because they continue to press the boundaries of what the tennis game will look like and um, so i'm really excited to see what you guys think when you guys get this racket in hand um, if you enjoyed that interview um, please like and subscribe and I look forward to seeing you and I have more content coming soon.